Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. In my previous video, I was working with this Flashfish 18 volt, 100 watt solar generator. It's just folding solar panels. And I was charging my cell phone and I was actually kind of thought it reflected poorly on the product because we were out there for four and a half hours under some extreme temperatures. These things hit over 80 degrees Celsius in the sun. So I concluded that I wanted to charge uh, one of these solar generators. Essentially, it's a giant power bank. I think that that's going to be a better use of the Flashfish solar panel. So here we are. We're starting out very early last weekend. It's 5.44 a.m., 23 degrees Celsius outdoors there. We don't have any direct sunlight, and we've got the Flashfish folding solar panels out there. You can see our Marlboro power station is at 85%. And the electricity is just beginning to flow. Interesting, the solar panels without the sunlight are the same temperature as the ambient air temperature. Yeah, the sun hasn't come up yet. Now it's 6.30 a.m., still 23 degrees Celsius. And we do have direct sunlight now on the solar panels. Okay, it's interesting. They're almost double the temperature once you get some light on them. So the temperature has something to do with the process of elect <laughs> generating electricity is my guess. I'd like a scientific explanation. Leave a comment down below. We are charging our Marlboro power station. We've got 13 volts, which is the minimum for it. And we're still at that 85%. Now it's 7 a.m., 24 degrees Celsius. You can see it's 75 Fahrenheit. Yeah, we're up to almost 50 degrees Celsius on the surface of the solar panels. Remember the rock panels? I made a video about that. They said their maximum operating temperature is 65 Celsius. So I'm going to try to keep it to that. And we look in here. We're getting 13 volts and we've already charged 6%. We're up to 91% in just a half an hour. checking the temperature of the battery because you can see it's getting some sunlight. Yeah, it's starting to creep up. So I'm going to move it behind the solar panel so it has some shade here. Yeah, that cooled it off a little bit. 7.31 a.m. Temperature's up a lot. 27 Celsius. Almost to 60 Celsius on the solar panels. I don't know why this side registers cooler here. Okay. We're getting 20 volts off of that uh, flash fish folding solar panel and we're up to 96 percent this after basically an hour now 8.01 a.m. 28 degrees Celsius yeah we're getting close to that 65 Celsius maximum operating temperature of the other panels okay 21 volts and we're at 99 percent all right it's 8.30 in the morning 29 degrees Celsius yeah, the panels are holding up pretty well. Yeah, we're above that 65 degrees Celsius. And you can kind of see that little bend on that last panel. That's from the pouch on the back. So here we got 22 volts input and our Marlboro power station is at 100%. So that was a lot faster than charging my cell phone. And now it's Sunday morning, and i got to charge all my cell phones, so I'm going to use the Marlboro power bank to do that. First up is the Galaxy S20. I'm at 19%, so wow. An hour later, I'm at 100%, and we've taken 5% off the capacity of the Marlboro power station. Yeah, charging rapidly. This is my Moto E plugged in there. This was the one I was charging with the Flashfish before. It seems to have its own smart way of charging. But a couple hours later, it's fully charged, and we took another 3% off the Marlboro capacity there. It's at 92%. So I'm going out. It's 11.20 in the morning, 31 degrees Celsius, and I'm going to go ahead and hook the Marlboro power station back up to the Flashfish and top it back off again. Yeah, you need this adapter cable because their power DC in is a different kind of plug. It's like a 6x3 plug instead of a 5x2. 
Now, an hour later, wow, 32 degrees Celsius. You can see the sun's going full bore out here. These guys are being pushed to the max. Yeah. Again, almost at 80 degrees Celsius there. We're, we're I'd say, at the tip of the operating range of those panels. But I'm at 20 volts here, 99%. And with the temperatures the way they are, I'm going to go ahead and pull it. But I think that this was a very successful session here. So it only took me an hour to charge the Marlboro power bank. And I was able to charge both of my cell phones. And they certainly would have taken longer if they were directly connected to the flash fish. So I definitely recommend you get some sort of big solar generator, a power bank such as this, and attach it to your flash fish folding solar panel. That seems to be the best use case here. If you have any experience on this matter, happy to hear from you. Leave a comment down below. Give this video a like. And before you go watch more of my exploring portable solar solutions, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.